Hello everybody, my name is John Sabo and I am Sales Support Specialist here at Tornos Technologies US. And today you can find me here on our showroom floor with our wonderful demo machines behind me. Today we're actually going to be focusing on our Swiss Nano 7, but before that let me power her up. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have power running to your machine. Flip on that power supply. You'll know that you have power running to your machine when you have this light right up top here, shining bright. After you turn the machine on, you're gonna press this green button right here. After you press that, you'll get the computer booted up and it'll start running the machine. Once the computer on the machine has loaded up, you will see the screen is filled with wonderful information over here and we've got some shiny buttons. First thing we're gonna wanna do is to make sure that the door is locked. So we're gonna press this button right here. This locks our door, so now if we check, can't move that. You'll have this green flashing light here. We're gonna press that. Here, a couple more clicking. And last button here for the security check. As you can see, safety tests in progress. A couple more clicks in the background, and once that light goes away, you're ready to open up the machine again. As you can see here on the display screen, the door button is blinking. We're gonna go ahead and press that. And this unlocks the wonder that is inside our Swiss Nano. Right off the bat, you can already tell how easily accessible this is with the front cover, as well as working on the main spindle right here. As you can see, we have our gang here with three tooling plates and various other cutting tools. The first thing I'm actually gonna do is turn on this little light here so I can see better. So we're gonna walk over here to our control panel, click on the light switch, and you can already see the tooling area nicely lit up. We're going to be changing this tooling plate right here and swapping it out for a different set of tools that you could use for a different setup. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start off with removing this cover right here to give myself a little bit more room to work with. You don't need to take the whole screw off, just loosen it up so that this front cover comes off. The rest is simple. All you have to do is remove four screws that secure the tooling plate to the gang. Now that those four screws are out, all I have to do is just pop this plate out. Sometimes you gotta give it a wiggle. And then you slide the substitute right into its place with a new set of tools. And now we're gonna put the screws in and tighten it up. Having two or more tooling plates allows for ultra fast setups. The new tooling plate is secured on the gang. Now we're gonna put back this cover. All you have to do now is select your new program with your new set of tools and you're ready to run a whole different part. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. I actually want to give a special thank you to Brian Glavanovitz, our applications and process engineer, who helped show me exactly how easy this process is. If I'm a sales guy and I can work behind a desk and still change out a tooling plate, so can you. Thanks for watching, guys.